Vande Mataram. Good evening. It's a great honor, and thank you, Dr. Vishwanath Karat, Rahul Karatji, being here amongst you, the youth, the future. This, the discussion that I've been, I was hearing so long about globalization, I was in New York, and I've seen how New York has been a reigning force as far as industries go, as capitalism goes, because they have no boundaries. India today, we have a huge source of, I would say, talent, and that lies in our youth. We spoke about brain drain, but in a way, it is exchange of our ideas and culminating our force globally. It is in no way, uh, it is definitely a strength for us to globalize in every way our products because e-marketing today is growing. Online trade is growing. And we have surpassed in technology. Coming from fashion, I've seen that brands have globally taken over the markets. Even though we have the best talent in India and the best fabrics, we've not yet been able to conquer that field yet. But with the Make in India policy that uh, we have been promoting in India, I'm sure that it is definitely going to cause a dent in the global market. Moreover, we talk about environment, we talk about social issues. None of these are confined to a certain region. These are all global issues. So unless companies as MNCs are expanding globally, we have to work hand in hand to make this world a better place and also to create the opportunity for trade and for different countries to grow. India today with our population, we do have a huge mass of people who are underprivileged and who are in professions which need to be trained to get into the mainstream arena. With the incoming global MNCs, there is a threat for these art forms to die out. And this is a problem that we as a, as a community should look into because a lot of the artisans and the art forms in India could get completely run over by these huge companies. So how do we overcome that? How, how do we still retain our essential culture, our values, and of course, what we have always stood for, our culture, which is so important. In today's world, India is standing as a huge force. And as we grow and we move forward, more than trade, more than anything, I think we stand as a proud community of richness in art. And we have seen that we have been growing extensively in fields of entertainment, music. And we need to provide those arenas an opening as well. So when you look, is it a necessary evil? I think it is necessary. Between the, the strong forces in India, the most important thing the youth can do today is to step up and definitely learn how to progress in every field globally with the support of the government and the colleges. The colleges in India have been giving courses, and I'm sure that it is important to realize in the world market, we have to learn marketing and branding. When in New York, we saw that more than the actual product, it was a marketing that made most sense. In India, the courses are not actually uh, in the direction of branding as much. So once we realize in the globalization, we focus on how to get our brands into the market with branding, I'm sure India is going to grow and globalization is going to be more welcome and a huge power to India. Thank you. Jai